Hey, what's going on, you tubulous? EXO coming at you here. The weather is fantastic, and I've been using the opportunity to do some stuff inside Little Blue. As you guys know, we've got a 10,000 watt sound system installed in here, but it's been on the back burner kind of a hiatus because I dropped my sub, thousand dollar sub freaking smashed on the ground. I broke the basket. <laughs> and a whole bunch of other shit mechanically that kind of, you know, set us back a little bit. But this whole week, I've been working on the Toyota Corolla. We got the four channel amplifier installed, a brand new doubled in head unit installed and a new 1000 watt amplifier. But this week, I've been kind of focusing on the mechanical side of Little Blue ever since TDH show of, I think a couple years ago, we had some casualties, if you may. This is my, whew, this is my exhaust system. I had it like taped up with some freaking like uh, hangers and stuff just like hanging up from the bottom of my car and I just ripped it all out. I cut this with an angle grinder right here and we're replacing the entire thing. Look at this, we had like a blowout right here. The flex joint fell off at the manifold. So we're gonna make everything quiet again and freaking emission free well as much as we can with this year but it's been a long time coming guys i've been without bass in this thing for like a couple few months and oh my god i can't wait to get my fix in we've got some great plans in store for trying out a new set of amplifiers from b2 audio so we'll get our 18s in here see if we can get a higher score i can't wait to get it back on the road man i've been dying out here we got a lot of stuff in store but we're just um waiting for rock auto delivery so i got my friend coming um he's gonna actually help me do some stuff inside little blue but right now it's just the same old same old but right back there the pipe freaking fell right off and all of the fumes while you're driving just kept coming like at you full force so it was really really uh difficult to drive in so we'll get that all situated and good news the the subwoofer the final subwoofer finally is um, delivered the PSI Platform 5. So now we'll have three of them. I'm so damn excited. I had this baby freaking sister fall off my table right here, but now we're back in action. These things are so freaking big. They have to pack them up like a freaking tank just to get them to your house. We got the other two back in 2016. And now today, 2019, we're getting the trifecta. Some nice wood on the top, keep her safe. And there she is. Oh man, look at her. Let's take her out. Beautiful freaking sub. There we go. Nice. All right, there she is. Woo! That was kind of an unconventional way of getting it open. We're going to have um, some new amplifiers coming in to be installed too. Really big, powerful amps. Can't wait. Here's the new subwoofer. Mm, mm, mm. Gotta love it. Pool noodles and all. Let's pry it out. Nice big fat motor. Oh my God, look at it. Woo! Yes. We are ready for action, guys. We got the other guys sitting right over there waiting to be blasted. Oh boy, I can feel the bass already. Here's the sub that took the plunge off this table right here. So I figured I'd take a little couple videos because tearing this thing down is pretty hilarious, especially when you get to the spider platform, you end up having to give like a sledgehammer and smash it off. So I figured I'd push record and uh, go ahead and replace the basket as we break down this beautiful platform five. Take off the basket and we'll just start slicing and dicing with our miracle blade. This is obviously broken. It needs a nice fresh part. And if you see in the background, we got a fresh recone of the other one and this will end up being my spare subwoofer. When I first posted the video announcing that this thing freaking took the deadly plunge off the table, a lot of people were like, hey, just glue it, you know, uh, JB weld it. But look, look at this. We got how many pieces here? We got one piece, two pieces. So I don't really think that would have been a good idea to be relying on that. A brand new basket's only like 35, 45 bucks, but we're not quite there yet. We'll get this thing torn down first. Gotta love 
tearing apart a big subwoofer like this, huh? You know, some subs they don't even make replacement parts for, but when you come to big boys like this, you can keep the damn thing forever. Alrighty, we got that surround cut 360. Now we're gonna pry up the cone because these spiders are actually pretty hard to cut through, so a nice top angle will really help out. I know some people are probably cringing right now, like, no, why didn't you save the cone? But once you get to a certain point, you know, you don't always wanna save this kind of stuff, you know what I mean? All right, there we go. A little bit of something like that, a little bit of percolation. Then I just take my little miracle blade knife and I cut down straight through it. Kind of got to give it a little shank first. There we go. But this makes it so much easier because there's a space, a pretty large gap in between each spider. So trying to take a utility blade in between the cone and trying to salvage it, you know, without crinkling it is a pain in the butt. So I just say, screw it and just start slicing and dicing. Watch how easily this knife just cuts through all this stuff right here. Ready? Slicing and dicing like nothing. I love this blade. I think that's only the top layer there too. I think I missed the bottom layer. It's it's, it's pretty stout. There we go. There's the, there's the other layer. Cut that rest of the way out. Come on, baby. All right, there she is. Beautiful voice coil, not even damaged in the least bit. Looks like a dandelion or some type of flower that got perked up. Whew, this is gonna take some sledgehammering some hammering indeed. Yeah, but see, I don't know if this is gonna be a good idea because this table, it isn't the most sturdy of all things, but I'll try to give it a couple whacks. Give it a nice little smack and the whole thing just kinda does its thing. There we go. See how it kinda came up a little bit there? There we go. She's chipping away. Give her a rotation. Smash her on this side. Oh yeah. <laughs> That CA glue is super brittle, man. Shrapnel style. Got to duck and hide. All right, yeah, we're getting a good little, see that separation right here? Check that out. I think we can go ahead and pry this whole thing right off right now. Yeah. Yes, there we go. Uh, yeah, maybe a couple little smacks right over here. Oh my God, the table's going nuts. There we go. Nice. Man, this glue is strong, baby. But does it make a mess? Yes, it does. Take a look at this hunk of freaking cat. We'll have to blow out our center pole here because there's some debris in there. But the good thing about using this type of glue is that you can kind of chip it off in big chunks along the uh, metal. We'll save these wires. I always save all of my spare stuff. I don't know if I'll use it, but I always just keep it. Give it a nice tap tappy. Whoa. Look at that, see that big chunk just flew right off there. Boom. Pretty convenient. Boom, there goes the whole damn thing down to clean bare metal. You guys get the picture, that stuff comes off in nice big chunks. So let's remove the basket. Uh, we got our Allen key here. And I think this one looks pretty easy. Yeah, see this one's spinning okay. They put some adhesive down on the bottom of the basket, so we'll do the same thing when we replace it. But I'm gonna wanna clean up this motor because, oh, you can see kind of this reaction with the air, the moisture in the air. It's kind of getting these little pockets of rust. Try to fix that up with a little kit that we have. Eee, holy crap, this one's, this one's a little bit harder to get out. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Woo! that one's in there pretty good. You know, I do find it pretty amazing that something that weighs like four and a half pounds, not even five pounds, can hold up a motor that weighs like, you know, 90. Give it a nice little tappy with our dead blow. There we go, she's up. Looks like it was that rubber adhesive. So we'll have to use that when we apply it back. Basically the same stuff that they use on dust caps and surrounds. So let's take up the dust cap. I forgot to put it on when we started chipping. I was just doing that for fun to show you guys a little trick with the chisel. But there we go. Check out that magnet. Holy smokes, what a motor. So let's see what we can do about cleaning up the top of it. I wanna get these little fingerprints off. 
make it look a heck of a lot better, and we'll have ourselves a beautiful spare. Can't go wrong with that. Got everything cleaned off. We're gonna go ahead and apply some of our rubber-based adhesive onto our basket. We'll do it on, the, on this side. Just a nice little thin layer, nothing crazy. Just like that, when you apply the pressure onto the bolts, it'll really squeeze out that stuff just like a heat sink of a CPU. So let's put her down nice and gently. Lines up perfectly, gotta love it. We got a nice brand new sub, new basket. We're feeling good today. Little Blue will be back on the road in no time with that new exhaust. I can't wait, guys. You know how it is if you're into this hobby. Stuff is expensive. There we go, we got the fingerprints off the motor. We've got a brand new fresh basket on here. I'm feeling pretty good. What do you got on the agenda for this weekend? Anything great? Anything fun? Any shows you're gonna be hitting at base competitions? All right, guys, I think this will just about do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to our patrons for supporting the channel. We got some special stuff in store for everybody over there. And yeah, the big behemoth build is are coming underway real soon, everybody. <sighs> Gotta love it. All right, stay tuned for Little Blue Resurrected. We'll be getting loud real soon. I'll talk to you in the next video, everybody. CXO signing out. Okay!